Yo, what up? It's Eclipse from Team Ruthless, and I'm doing another follow up to my med meta explanations and revisiting some of my videos. So, what you guys see here is my one of my cheesy meta builds. Um, I kind of just been playing around with it, and it probably could be better. I don't know. I use whatever mods I have. I don't have a, that many mods because I'm a lazy gamer. But um, for I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of uh, very similar builds to this, if not the dual snipers, dual ugly envies. Um, I know you guys seen these brinical missiles a lot, um, and I'm here to explain to you why snipers for one are really good and why the brinical weapons are really good. Brinical, brinical. I don't know how to say these. I've been saying brinical. I think my boy Pokey fan said I'd be pronouncing it wrong, but I probably pronounce everything in this game wrong. So, that being said, let me show you guys why snipers are OP. First of all, what makes the the snipers OP is the bullet speed. They have the highest bullet speed out of every weapon besides the art guns in the game. Just off rip. They have pretty they do pretty good get uh can't talk right now. They do pretty decent damage and they actually have a really good knockdown uh rate. I don't know what honestly I don't even know what's high in terms of knockdown because it's a stat that I don't pay attention to. But for snipers it's actually really good. Um I would like to say the the uh, grenade launchers have more knockdown and maybe the melee weapons but snipers have really good knockdown for for how fast they shoot and how much damage they do it, they it's kind of too good and granted knockdown kind of grants you um, iframes invincibility frames but say you're flying over the water and you get knocked down well that's an instant KO so that's why they're pretty good. Um, a lot of people hated the snipers, especially at launch, because that's what everybody was using. I think they're a little toned down now. They got nerfed, um, I think, twice. Um, and they, they're still in a pretty good spot. They're probably still arguably uh, number one range weapon PvP, if not the ugly enemies. Um, I don't know. I think we'd have to, you guys have to uh, get the opinion from the uh, community. But they're they're pretty good. Um, we have again we have them banned from the tournament because mostly because of Shadow. <laughs> but um, a lot of people think they're really good and might be too good. But I don't think they're too good. I just think they're I think they're in a good place right now. I think if anything, other weapons just need buffs. Um, but going on from that is the Brennisols, and without the stats, in my opinion, don't really give it justice. In terms of um, seeing how OP they are, um, the only thing in the description that I'll probably let you know that the OP is the relentlessly <laughs> pursue its target description. Um, when they home, they home. Like I don't know how to, else to say it. Like the homing on them is kind of ridiculous, and I think if I show you guys in a testing round why their OP would be better than um, looking at the stats for this particular weapon. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gotta love them low screens, baby. Um, so one thing I hate about Brennicles, and this is what I noticed by using them, just playing around with them, is that without, without having a lock on, I can easily start shooting missiles. Most lock on weapons have a shorter lock on, like, I have to be a lot closer for, in order to get a lock before I can fire missiles. But the Brinnacles are so, I don't know why, but as soon as they're in my range, I can start firing missiles. And the homing is stupid. They'll follow you forever. They move slow, so people forget about them. They're kind of dumb. The best way to counter them is to shoot them. In my opinion, they don't take much damage to blow, blow them up. And I'm pretty sure when you, if you blow one up and they're close to each other, it'll blow the other one up. But the damage on them is retarded. They're just really good. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say. They'll follow you for days. 
Now you can outrun them if you're fast enough, have a fast enough build. They don't last forever. They do last a very long time, but they don't last forever, so they'll eventually blow up. But that being said, they're really annoying. I, it's best to shoot them, or if you can have cover, and hide behind the cover, especially if the other player is not as fast as you. Now snipers, as you can see, they shoot really fast. Almost like machine guns. They do really good damage and they have a high knock now, right? A lot of people don't know this, but you can actually snipe. In case you have to be on the ground to do it. They actually do way more damage if you're sniping from them. Because again, the range is 700. So let me see if I can get 700 feet. Actually, I don't even think I can tell. The damage kind of works like the swords do. Like the further away, the more damage you do. So this is 500. So 700 gotta be like here. It's kind of hard to aim on the switch. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -mm. But yeah, snipers are really good in. Um, I think that's still a pretty strong go-to for a lot of people who PvP on the regular. Um, again, I know you guys are probably seeing a lot of Brennicle. Brennicle, however you say it. But they're, both of these can be countered. They're, they are really strong, and Brennicle probably needs to get a nerf. And I hate to see nerfs go, go out, but it probably does need a nerf. But other than that, um, snipers can easily be countered in my opinion by just being in their face because again the closer you are the less damage they do um, be careful though just because you're in their face don't mean they're not going to do no damage and they will still knock you down um, but I think melee builds and just being in their face with some kind of automatic weapons or ugly envies will probably uh, is a good way to counter snipers um, snipers also, I think, are a good way to counter ugly enemies, which is funny, but it really depends on your uh, skill as a pilot. Mernicles, again, just shoot them out of the sky. Don't let them hit you. Be wary. Also, knowing what they look like, knowing what they look like will definitely help you. If you see these big two tower looking things on somebody's shoulder, these are Mernicle. And they're from the exploration mode, and just be very wary over them. They're very easy, fire forget. I've beaten people with just using Brennicle. It's kind of ridiculous. But there you have it. Um, the next video, I'm probably gonna talk about ugly enemies and why they're so good. And after that, I don't think I have too much more meta. I might explain how to try to get more, make more weapons viable by stealing some of my uh, the other communities' builds and <laughs> showing you them on uh, YouTube, so uh, look forward for that. But other than that, that's all I got. So you guys take it easy, deuces.